Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, today, APA is going to make my family's comfort food. A very common uh, homely dish in Malaysia. Yeah, especially Malaysia. Of course, it's actually quite common in ASEAN, uh, Asia. Um, I have, uh, I'm going to make a pork leg vinegar. Okay? This is also a very uh, famous confinement dish. So, uh, I have about 1.5 kg of pork leg here. Try to choose uh, hind leg, meaning the leg behind, because this is your, this is what you're going to get, the tendon. Okay, if you choose the uh, uh, front leg, you won't get much tendon. So the tendon is what really gives you the collagen also, yeah? And also together with the skin. So, get a hind leg. Usually hind leg is quite big, yeah, it's bigger. Uh, the hind leg will be probably about two, uh, easily 2.5 kg to 3 kg. So I will, you, I will usually ask the butcher to cut them into smaller bite sizes like this and I will separate into two times, yeah. I will cook it into two different portions. So the first one, uh, the first portion, I'm going to use it to pork, uh, do pork vinegar. The second portion, I'll probably use it to cook uh, pork leg, uh, braised pork leg. Okay, so the main ingredient is actually very simple. You need a lot of ginger, okay. Notice I did not clean the ginger skin uh, thoroughly. Uh, as a matter of fact, you don't have to. You don't even have to clear off the skin, just wash it nicely. Uh, the reason why the reason why people uh, remove the skin is also partly because it will look better anesthetic, uh, anesthetically. If not, actually you can leave it on or just, just uh, peel off uh, part of it. And it is very easy to peel off ginger skin. All you need to do is use a spoon. You don't even need a peeler, okay? Just use a spoon, scrape it off. And, and uh, you know why sometimes you may want to keep the skin intact? Because the skin have this thing called, uh, Chinese is called Jiang Huang Su. Uh, it's actually the natural nutrient from the ginger itself. So it's actually good to keep some of the skin. And you, you want to bruise it, yeah? Crush, crush your, crush your uh, ginger with your knife. So that uh, the flavor will, can come out a easier. And to give it a bit of a uh, kick, I'm going to add some, a uh, few uh, dried chili here. So, and the main ingredient between the two, uh, the, the seasoning, is what we call uh, sweetened vinegar. Okay, you can use any brand you like, but it has to be sweetened vinegar. Yeah, it's a sweetened dark vinegar and water. Okay, basically the ratio between the two is one to one. One sweetened dark vinegar and one ratio of water. You don't have to add in any other type of vinegar at all. You only need one type of vinegar, which is the sweetened dark vinegar. And the ratio is one to one. Okay, so first of all, we just want to um, uh, do some sauteing to really bring out the flavor of the chili and also the ginger. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Uh, still many people are asking Apa how to blanch uh, meat. Um, so first of all, I just I'm I'm just want to re uh, explain to you why is it people want need to blanch the meat. Blanching process will actually help you to remove the uh, gaminess in any kinds of uh, meat, yeah, especially red meat. Usually red meat will come with a little bit more gaminess. So blanching is actually very important, Extra, uh, especially for pork. Especially for pork, yeah? So the blanching process is important here. And by doing blanching, what you want to do is to remove the unnecessary uh, smell and also to remove the excessive blood from uh, the bone itself and to some of the meat. And uh, of course, there's one very important thing I notice uh, people always make a mistake, which is actually to uh, put the meat into boiling water. That's actually wrong. What you should do is actually put the meat into cold water, then only you raise the heat until it is uh, boiling. By doing this, uh, then only the blanching process will be more efficient. Okay? So I have a, I'm, I'm going to uh, cook 
pork vinegar later. So this is actually uh, pork hind leg, the leg behind, uh, about 1.5 kg I think. So what we need here is few slices of ginger, okay, and some saoxing wine. If you uh, don't don't take alcohol, then of course uh, you don't have to put the saoxing wine. Like I mentioned, the correct way of doing blanching is actually to put your meat into uh, cold water, then only you raise the heat. If you like to eat pork, uh, a pork leg, basically a pork hind leg is actually will taste better because of the tendon. Pork front leg doesn't have tendon, okay? So this is why I uh, always try to choose a uh, pork hind leg, the, the leg behind, to cook any uh, pork trot, pig trotter dishes. Few slices of ginger. One small cup of saucing wine and raise the heat and bring it to a boil then let it boil for a couple of minutes then it is done this is uh, did you notice all these uh, bubbles and forms um, this is not even boiling yet yeah this is only in the in the progress of boiling all these forms already came up and these are the things that we want to remove yeah because this will the source of the gaminess of this from this particular pot. So this is why I'm telling you always uh, add the uh, uh, your your bones uh, your or your pot inside inside the cold water. Then only you raise the heat. So I'm going to continue and let it un uh, boil. Then um, let it boil for about three four minutes. Then it is done. Okay, my uh, pot trotter. My uh, pork leg has been uh, boiling for the past 3 minutes and you can see all these forms coming out. So basically the balancing process is almost done. What we no need to do right now is just to uh, <coughs> remove this, okay? Remove this and then uh, rinse, rinse all your uh, pork under running water. Clean in, uh, clean them uh, nicely all right I'm not going to show you how I rinse my pork because the last time I did it many environmentally scolded apa for wasting water <laughs> seriously if you are, uh, I don't know how to comment anyway uh, yeah okay just take remove this and then uh, rinse it under running water and that's it that's how simple it is okay there you go after, uh, this is after I rinse and wash the pork uh, nicely, okay? So uh, that's how simple is uh, blanching process. Always remember, put in the raw pork into cold water, then only you raise the heat. Then you are going to get the most optimum uh, uh, result, all right? Okay, so we want to saute our ginger. Put a bit of oil inside the wok. And also the dry chili. You want to saute this a minute or two till you really smell the nice fragrance coming out from these two. Then we will continue to add in the pot. Okay, we will come back shortly. All right, this is after about two minutes sauteing. We can actually now add in the pork leg. Now today I'm going to use a pressure cooker. If you are not using pressure cooker, then what you do here is just to continue whatever I will do af right after this in the same uh, wok 
or you move it to another port for slow cook for uh, uh, simmering okay but right after this I'm going to move mine over to a uh, pressure cooker okay it's basically the first step is actually done i'm going to move this to my pressure cooker okay so i have moved over my pork leg onto uh, my pressure cooker pot if you are uh, not using pressure cooker just use any of your other pots okay so uh, if you can notice from here, I also added in some uh, eggs, poached egg. Yeah, nicely poached egg. And this will actually, uh, it will taste actually very good inside the uh, gravy later. And so let's continue with the gravy. First of all, you, will, you, have, you want to put in about two tablespoons of uh, rock sugar, bing tang, okay? And then, Put in the uh, sweetened dark soy sauce, uh, dark uh, vinegar. This is approximately 500 ml. I suspect it's not enough. I probably add a bit more later. Like I said, your uh, your measurement should be the ratio between vinegar and water is one to one. We want your broth to be uh, just nicely uh, covered all your ingredients, okay? So, here's my water. Ooh, almost there actually, almost there. I'm going to add in some, I have some uh, leftover from last round. Oh yeah, my water is actually slightly more than 500ml just now. Oh, okay, just nice. All together, I think I put in probably about six, 600 or 650 ml each. Okay. Now I can move it to my pressure cooker. Okay, I'm going to put this, put the pot inside. Alright, and close the lid. Hmm, I haven't been using this pressure cooker for some time. Don't forget to lock it. Uh, let me choose... Yeah, where do I choose the system? Let me see. Uh, wait. wait a second. The slow cook pork rolls, baked yogurt, uh, poultry, beef and lamb. Okay, I'm going to choose the beef and lamb. It's going to cook 30 minutes and uh, 60 kilopascal. I will reduce my pressure a little bit, 50 enough, and press it for 3 seconds. Alright, it is now start starting and uh, yeah, it's pressuring up. So, it will take probably about 10-15 minutes to warm out and then uh, pressure cooking and then another 10-15 minutes to, to release the pressure. So, all in at least one hour and then it is done. Okay, so we will just come back in one, one, after one hour then. Uh, if you are using normal pot, what you do is after adding the vinegar and water, bring it to a boil and uh, close the lid bring down your heat to medium low and let it cook for 45 minutes okay i repeat bring bring up bring the broth to a boil okay then close the lid slow down your fire or your heat to medium low and let it cook for 45 minutes 
then it is done. Okay, if, that is if you are using a normal port. Okay, my uh, vinegar pork, pork vinegar is now ready. Let me unlock and open it. So have to be very careful because the steam will be coming up. Yeah. Put it on the side. Wow. I'm not sure if you can see this. Wow. Ooh. So fragrant. Okay, uh, let me do some final seasoning. Actually, this is not, uh, it's really up to you. Many people doesn't, doesn't add uh, salt into this particular dish, but I do. So I will, uh, I will add some salt. You don't have to, yeah? If you don't know one, it's okay. It's optional. Okay. Give it a few stir. It is basically done. Let's look at this. Look at the bouncy uh, skin, pork skin. Okay, this is exactly the kind of uh, texture I wanted and uh, my egg is nice nicely braised okay so yeah it's basically done let me show you how I serve it okay so here's my uh, pork leg vinegar I hope you like my video uh, if you like my video do uh, sh share my video on your Facebook to your friends come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page you click like and follow button follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel Thank you very much. Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.